In light of my recent successes on Football Manager, I would just like to thank every single one of you who views this video and comments because without your support, I definitely would not be in the position I am. Well, actually, no, it is 99.9% .9 me because if it wasn't for me, then I wouldn't be in the position I am. But no, thank you anyway. So, our last game, Thierry Enriquez single-handedly beat Huddersfield Town which kind of begs the question, how many more teams is he going to beat this season by himself? And see, the more times he keeps scoring and winning games by himself means that there's less spotlight on me, which is the main focus of the series. And the good news keeps on coming as we find out Scott Yarnfield finally returns to full training, which means I finally have another midfield option. So we finally reached 100 games as manager of Burnley, which have been filled with pain, regret and disappointment. So what better way to celebrate 100 games by playing Millwall at home, um, some shit team from South London. Uh, I mean, their fans could come at me, but I mean, I've got the world's great... Oh, actually, no, I haven't got anything. I also like their chant, no one likes us, because it is true that no one likes them, because they're fucking shit. So once again, we go with the 4-4-2, and it's an unchanged side, because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's like I'm setting myself up to lose this match. See, this is why I'm crap at football betting, because Tom Inzaghi gives us the lead after four minutes. So it's Scott Yarnfield's first game back into the first team squad, and he's already picked up a knock after 20 minutes. Thierry Enriquez, more like Thierry Arno Ronaldo. Oh, for fuck's sake, so there we go, there the Millwall fans starting to rip out our seats now. And Tom Inzaghi gives us the two goal advantage again to put us 3-1 up. Uh, that's how the game ended, uh, and one of my best friends is a Mill supporter, so there is a great satisfaction about this result. I definitely am not fearing any overconfidence in my team. I mean, obviously, I am the best manager in history, but, you know, my team is still, you know, challenging for the title. So, Danny Ings is out for seven weeks, which is fantastic preparation, seeing as the uh, East Lancashire derby is coming up next. And also, Adil Nabi has extended his loan at Colchester United for another three months, so we won't have to give an update for him for another 26 years. So up um, next we have Blackburn away in the derby and last season we were the only team to lose to them for 8 months. So there is a lot to exact revenge on. So the media have pinpointed Jordan Rhodes as the danger man for Blackburn against me. Um, and obviously 13 goals in 13 games shows that. But... We have Thierry Enriquez. There is no doubt that we're going to beat him 4-0. Wait, Glenn Hoddle is the Blackburn manager. Well, forget 4-0. It's going to be 5-0. I think the weak link in Blackburn is the fact that Glenn Hoddle is the manager. So, once again, we go with 4-4-2 away at Blackburn. And I've made the controversial decision to drop my captain, Vermaelen, and play McNair and Michael Keane at centre-back. This can only end one way. I think Blackburn know they're up for a tough game because how can they be playing 5 3 2 against me? I told you, I had no doubts that we were going to win this game. Michael Keane gives us the lead after 30 minutes. So we're only three minutes into the second half, and Paddy McNair has somehow managed to get himself sent off, which means I'm now going to have to play Thomas from Marlon, put him on for Stephen Naismith, and play one up front for the next 42 minutes. Wait, what the fuck has just happened? How have we gone 2-0 up? What? 3-0 away at our greatest rivals when we're down to 10 men. Well, maybe I'm the greatest manager that's ever lived. I fear for this series that if I keep winning games, it's going to get too boring. Much like Chelsea's football. Oh, wait, they don't actually win games anyway. So the goal-scoring hero himself, Michael Keane, is out for two weeks. I know, brilliant. It's just... Fucking brilliant, that is. Every episode I've managed to mention Paddy McNair, people keep saying, oh yeah, rename him to Paddy McNester, or Paddy McNairster. And I don't think he deserves it because he's been an absolute knobhead in the last two episodes. He scored no goal and now he's been banned for two matches. To be honest, I was actually hoping Roy Keane was looking at Michael Keane so there could be the newspaper headline, Keane, Keane on Keane. Actually, I'm sure I have that film on my shelf. Hoddle, just retire. You're fucking awful anyway. I mean, losing to me at home 3-0, that is worthy of a retirement. And probably the ending of your existence on this planet. I bought some tags, only got twenty dollars in my pocket. I'm, I'm, I'm running, looking for a comma. This is fucking awesome.